Hi and Assalamualaikum. My name is Nurfa Zatul Izati Binti Sulaiman and I'll be presenting about the animal behavior of the turtles and the long-tailed machaku. Sea turtles are a charismatic animal that have been around for millions of years. There is some debate on the number of sea turtle species, although seven have traditionally been recognized. All of these species are hawksbills, greens, flatback, longer heads, cam ridley, and also olive ridley turtles. All seven species of sea turtles are listed under the Endangered Species Act. The Chorating Turtle Sanctuary is a turtle conservation center that was set up by the government to research and protect the four main species of turtles that nest in Malaysia. The four species are the olive ridley, leatherbacks, greens, and also hawksbill turtles. These turtles are vital parts of the local marine ecosystem but are endangered due to the various threats. For the turtle conservation hatchery, after nestings, the eggs are relocated to the hatchery area. It is kept and stored in the optimal warm sand for receiving direct heat. The duration for hatching process is within 50 to 16 days at the 25 and 26 degrees Celsius. Here is a four types of turtles that exist in Malaysia. The first one is the leatherback turtles, where it is the largest type of turtles. It contains several ridges that resemble the star fruits. Dark grey body with the upper lip curve that helps in catching jellyfish and other soft creatures. The second one is the green turtles with a common of 1.2 meter in length. The color of its carapace changes with age, and the young green turtle have a dark skewed, whereas the mature ones have a dark brown to olive colorations. Next, olive ridley turtles, which it is the smallest turtle species in the world and has olive green and dark in color. It is a carnivorous type and mainly feeds on crabs, shrimp, and shellfish. The last one is a hawksbill turtle, which has a medium size of turtle that range on 70 to 90 cm, with the mouth resemble a hawk beak. It is estimated to reach a maturity between 20 to 35 years of age. For the daily activities, sea turtles are known to feed and rest during a typical day. It is presumed that mating or feeding occurs at these offshore areas. When it's not a nesting season, sea turtles may migrate hundreds or even thousands of miles. Sea turtles can sleep at the surface while in deep water or on the bottom wedges under rocks. For the common nesting behavior, sea turtles use beaches and the lower dunes to nest and lay their eggs. Sea turtles deposit an average of about 100 eggs in each nest and lay between 3 to 7 nests during the nesting season. For courtship and mating, for most sea turtles are believed to occur during a limited receptive period prior to the female's first nesting emergence. Afterwards, only females come ashore to nest. Males almost never return to land once they leave the sands of their natal beach. Meanwhile, incubation takes about 16 days. Essentially, the hotter the sand surrounding the nest, the faster the embryo will develop. Cooler sand has a tendency to produce more males, with warmer sands producing a higher ratio of females. For the imaging from the nest, unlike baby alligators, which are liberated from their nest by their mother, sea turtle hatchling must do it all themselves. To break open their shells, hatchling use a temporary sharp egg tooth called caruncle. For the migrations, the ability of the sea turtles to migrate hundreds of miles from its feeding ground to its nesting beach is one of the most remarkable acts in the animal kingdoms. The adult females return faithfully to the nest on the very beach where they were born makes the feats even more amazing. In short, sea turtles have played a vital role in maintaining the health of the world's oceans for more than 100 million years. This role range for maintaining productive coral reef ecosystem to transporting essential nutrients from the ocean to the beaches and coastal dunes. Long-tailed monkeys are found in the Southeast Asia, from Burma to the Philippines and southward through Indonesia, Malaysia and Indochina. In Malaysia, they are abundant in the coastal lowland forests. This species has been observed drinking much water and eating crabs. They often live near bodies of water. Of the various habitats occupied by the long-tailed macacus, the swamp forests seem to have to be the highest density of them. Males reach sexual maturity at approximately 6 years of age, whereas females mature by about 4 years of age. Animal behavior research can help us understand and predict the effects of the anthropogenic disturbance on wildlife populations, serve as a tool in the conservation interventions, 
and serve as a powerful indicator of the conservation issue. We can make a careful, objective observations of animals in a variety of situations and habitats when creating a behavioral ethnogram. According to the first data obtained, the frequency of movement in the social group is higher than the non-social groups. This is due to the fact that many primates and other animals live in the social groups. Individual members of the social group coordinate their activities, communicate with one another and interact in affiliative as well as agonistic ways. The second data showed that grooming is more common in social groups than in the non-social groups. In social grooming, the species interacts and communicate more and one individual groom another. According to the third data obtained, the frequency of eating among the non-social group is higher than of the social groups. This is because there are more food resources and less competition for food in the non-social group than in a social group. The final comparison data shows that the obtained correlation value is 0.81. It demonstrates a positive correlation so when the two variables are correlated. Nowadays, conservation of animals is very important. By conserving wildlife, we are ensuring that our future generation can enjoy our natural world and the incredible species that live within it. To help protect wildlife, it is important to understand how species interact within their ecosystems and how they are affected by environmental and human influence.